President Trump defended his tough tone on North Korea in a brief exchange with reporters. And frankly, uh, the people that were questioning that statement, was it too tough? Maybe it wasn't tough enough. Trump followed up with a Friday tweet warning that the U.S. military was locked and loaded if North Korea acted unwisely. The president is facing his first foreign policy crisis, and much of the attention has been on his blunt warning earlier in the week. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. Trump's remarks were unfortunate, says former ambassador Bill Richardson. Now I think the president has a chance to rally the nation, to address the country on what our policy is, but most importantly, to calm down. President Obama, he is the founder of ISIS. He's the founder of ISIS. Americans got used to Trump's tough rhetoric during last year's election campaign. But now that he's president, the standard is different, says political analyst Larry Sabato via Skype. He is very impulsive. Now, I suppose you could argue that abroad, that may be a plus when your enemies, when your adversaries think they're dealing with someone who uh, doesn't exactly have a cool head. Uh, on the other hand, when you're dealing with nuclear weapons, uh, I'd say it was in everybody's interest, including America's interest, to have someone with a cool head. But Trump defenders say the blunt warning is what his supporters expect. This is not the Obama White House. This is the Trump White House. We do not tell people in advance, if they are adversaries, what we are going to do. The challenge on North Korea comes in the wake of recent polls that show the president's approval rating at home dipping to new lows, even among Republicans. In the beginning, the vast majority of the people who voted for him strongly supported him, strongly approved uh, his job performance. Uh, now, in most surveys, it's down somewhere between 17 and 24 percent. Trump faces a stalled congressional agenda back home and often returns to his core supporters for a boost, as he did recently in West Virginia. Thank you, West Virginia. God bless you. Thank this you. reliance on his core supporters is not surprising, said analyst Jeremy Mayer via Skype. By normal presidential standards, he's failing. But he's not a normal president. And to many of his base, the fact that he's so disruptive is something they like. Recent polls show clear majorities of Americans see North Korea as a serious security threat. But only about a third of those polled said they had confidence in the president's ability to deal with the situation. Jim Malone, VOA News, Washington.